don't worry guys, one day I will fix up this office. I've been in here four nights, give me a break. Clowning on my echo, 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 echo. Anyway man, my man Dustin sends this epic question. Get the computer out the way, see that? See? This question comes from my man Dustin. Hey Mark, I'm a fan of your YouTube channel. I have a question for you. What's better post-workout? Waxy maze, dextrose, or maltodextrin? If you give a little explanation on why, that would be awesome. I have an article, if you go on, um, it's written by Bruce Neller on machinemuscle.com, machinemuscle.com, on why waxy maze is total bullshit. Just a fad, it's like fucking creatine ethyl ester. Oh, I'm not bloating on creatine ethyl ester like I do creatine, I'm not gaining any water weight. No, you're not gaining weight because you're not getting the fucking creatine. No, no, waxy maize, it is what it is. It's a starch, it's a complex carbohydrate. It's not anything special, it's not worth the price, it's not sexy, it's just a fucking starch. All right, it's no big deal, it has a high amylopectin content. Now, high amylopectin means it's higher molecular weight. Now, it's still a complex carb. I do believe that waxy maize is a fine carbohydrate, but is it better than anything else? No, is it worse than anything else? No, so why uh, some product, I know some uh, post-workout products have it in there in small amounts, just so that your body doesn't burn what they're trying to get in there. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with using max waxy maize for that, you know, to be able to claim sugar free on your label, have a carbohydrate in there to spare the usage of, let's say, branch chains post workout as an energy source. I kind of see that, all right? I'm good with it. I'm good. I'm good. My heart's beating. My heart's beating. My heart's beating. Boom! Okay, check it out. Dextrose. Dextrose is the most studied carbohydrate out there. I like dextrose. I like the fact if you're trying to increase your insulin and uh, get some recovery, I like dextrose. It's cheap. It's to the point. I would never take it pre-workout though. I've tried that before. I'm very insulin sensitive. You know what happened? I fucking went hypoglycemic during training. I will tell you what I do take pre-workout and why I take it. Uh, next up, maltodextrin. It's bullshit. It's a complex carb. It is what it is. It's micronutrients. But here's the thing about these. They, they have no micronutrients. You know, which is why I usually opt, I'll tell you what my strategy is now, but I usually opt for fruit. I like bananas and shit, man. Bananas are great. And also, let, let's, let's, let's go into the big, 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 bigger fact. I need a drink. Here's the bigger fact. Nutrient timing means fuck all. For bodybuilders, I said it. I believe that if you're a competitive athlete, a basketball player, a hockey player, a soccer player, I believe that you need after that match, after that practice, after that bout to recover because you've actually done something strenuous. Like my daughter, she must run 12 miles during a fucking soccer game, right? I go and I get her, you know, during, during soccer, I'm going to tell you what I give her right now. Either carbolic or glycofuse in her, uh, in her in her cup. I really like glycofuse because it dissolves really easy. It's very light and fluffy. Um, I like it. I like the dextrin in there. Um, carbolic, I love the nutrients in there. I love it. And it also has electrolytes in both of them, and that's what she needs, and Gatorade can kiss my ass. Um, so I like fruits. I like things with micronutrients in them. If you're going to get carbs, make them healthy carbs. And if you don't want healthy carbs, you want micronutrients to avoid carbs, I mean, I'm going to make you IIFYM, FYM, guys. Happy you have a fucking pop tart. Okay? Now, here's what we're going to get into. Ready? So, waxy maze, eh, not better than the other. Dextrose, post workout, if you go for an insulin spike, it's okay. If you're, if you're on a budget, it's fine. It's fine. Um, Maltodextrin, I've never been a big fan. They put in MRPs claiming it's a complex carb. It's a nutrient devoid piece of shit. Okay, here's what I like. And I'm not, this is not a sales pitch. This is actually what I believe in and use. Pre-workout lately, here's my, what I do with carbs. Here's what I do. Call me stupid. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm done there. Just call me stupid. No, here's what I do. A pre-workout, I wake up and I train at 5 a.m. I'm at the gym at 5 a.m. with my brother, okay? I get up at 4 a.m. At 4.15, I have, um, I get up at 3.45. At 4 o'clock, 4.15, I have two scoops of MTS Nutrition Whey, a banana, and some blueberries. I like it. I like the energy. I, like, I feel great. During training, I have either carbolic or glycofuse. Um, the glycofuse strawberry kiwi is great. Now, if you want to have carbolic pre-workout, I love the TerraSport. I do believe it helps your pre-workout. Um, 
and go on and rock on with that new chocolate carbolic strawberry kiwi glycofuse is fantastic. Post workout, either go with dextrose or one of the aforementioned um, carbolic or glycofuse. But here's the deal: I eat whole food pre workout. You can do the same post workout, and you don't even need carbs. It's actually been shown that it doesn't really make that big of a difference. You get somewhat similar protein synthesis and all that just from whey. That's for bodybuilding. I believe that for competitive sports, competitive athletes like my daughter, you do need that carb infusion. That's why dirt, but but you're, you're covering that during. If you have the carbs during, you don't have to go all crazy and the whole spiking insulin to get results and recover and this and that. You're a bodybuilder, man. You fucking lift weights, then you sit down. Don't worry about it. Just eat some food. You know, well, what should I have post-workout? Would this work post-workout? Here's what I have post-workout. Usually, it's wild salmon, two whole eggs, and a sweet potato. That's what I eat post-workout. Well, fucking bro, give me a break. All right, that's my post-workout meal. That's after I drink my glycofuse or carbolic with with uh, with branch chains during training. So that's that, guys. I really appreciate you watching this. Um, speaking of branch chains, I get, just got some new ones in. Woo! Dude, you guys gotta see this stuff. We're gonna carry this in the... We're gonna carry this in the shop. It's um, New Breed. Helix BCAA. This shit tastes fantastic. This is a watermelon lemonade. Had the apple, it's good. I just want to throw this at you. There's so many branch chains on the market. Um, this one's actually worth looking into. It has a little bit of point of differentiation in there. Um, just wanted to throw that in, but this isn't about that. You know, it has instantized aminos, Agma Pure Hica, uh, beta alanine, and it, it mixes and tastes great. So, I mean, the bottom line is carbohydrate, you know, you don't have to be all anal about it, but I like carbolic and and, uh, and glycofuse. I just like them. They they feel better. And that you might not be able to cite forty fucking research studies, but I've tried everything. I've used it. I drank dextrose put pre workout, and I'm so insulin sensitive it put me straight to sleep during a set of fucking squats. But I'll tell you what: if you're looking for that post workout insulin spike, weigh in dextrose. If you believe in that shit, weigh in dextrose is still the champion. I'm rambling, man. I don't even know what the fuck I said. Yeah, anyway, that, that's post-workout, during workout, intra-workout carbs, and some shit on a new BCA. All right, I'm Mark Lobon, your machine militia, tigerfitness.com, carbohydrates.